Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a couple of goofballs in love that love doing some movie trailer reactions together. We do, and there's a Batman movie coming up. Yes, there's a Batman movie coming up, and uh, we got a new trailer coming out for it. Uh, we don't have it, but we got a new trailer <laughs> reaction. We got we to gotta do. <laughs> we had nothing to do with this trailer. And uh, so we're reacting to the bat and the cats for our, uh, like, like the trailer for the Batman. Um, and looking forward to it. I mean, uh, so, who knows? Maybe we should have something to do with the trailer. Yeah, maybe we're in the trailer. Ooh, no, we're not. <laughs> Bruce Wayne. I'm sorry. I wouldn't be bothering you here, but your people keep telling me you're unavailable. <laughs> you know, you really could be doing more for this city. Family has a history of philanthropy, but as far as I can tell, you're not doing anything. Oh! <laughs> the Riddler is asking for you. The killer left this for the Batman. Why is he writing to you? You came. I've been trying. Riddler's latest. Awesome. It's all about the Waynes. If we don't stand up, no one will. You got a lot of cats. I have a thing about snakes. <laughs> the bat and the cat. Ooh, she's got food. She's got yeah. this ring. You a new friend of yours? I'm not so sure. I'm just here to unmask the truth about this cesspool we call a city. You're part of this too. How am I part of this? Oh, you're really not as smart as I thought you were. Bruce Way. Oh, All these years, you lied to me, Alfred. We all have our scars, Bruce. He's still away. He's involved in this? No, he's not involved. How do you know? He's up in Delaney. Who are you under there? What are you hiding? Selena, don't throw your life away. Don't worry, honey. I got nine of them. <laughs> it can be cruel, poetic, or blind. But when it's denied, it's your violence you may find. Justice. The answer's justice. Come on, vengeance. Let's get into some trouble. Hell yeah! Okay, uh, that looks awesome. And um, so uh, I, I think this is like, has a nice comic book feel to it, but by also having the realism of the Nolan films, but like not being like super hyper real that the Nolan fil films were. There are a lot of things about it that I loved. One thing I really loved is when Batman is looking in through the window at the diner, mm -hmm. the way that the lights were at that moment, it made it look like his chest plate had that yellow for like the old school Batman costume. He blatantly doesn't as, as his costume actually is, but I really liked that sort of like gem in there that, that highlighted his chest in yellow in that way. Based on this trailer, I think this is the first Batman casting where I buy him more as Batman than I do as Bruce Wayne. Oh yeah. In all the previous ones, I mean, when you have George Clooney, obviously Bruce Wayne. When you have Val Kilmer, <laughs> obviously Bruce Wayne. <clears throat> Even Christian Bale is, is more Bruce Wayne than he is Batman. So this is the first time where I'm like, I buy him way more as Batman than I do as Bruce Wayne. To me, he looked a little bit kind of grungy as Bruce Wayne. I'm just like, okay, not, yeah, yeah, a little you're bit. not really who I would expect in, in that Catwoman, in that like short red. Mm. fiercely sexy. Her <laughs> fight moves are super impressive. I want to see more of her. I'm, I'm really excited by that. And the Riddler, I'm excited to see the interpretation oh, of the Riddler as terrifying. I love the casting for the Riddler. Uh, Paul Dano um, is an amazing actor and really looking forward to uh, seeing him on screen, uh, bringing the Riddler to life. And Heard that Colin Farrell is going to be the Penguin. Um, he's going to be Penguin. And so that, that, that's cool. The one 
kind of uh, hesitation I have so far of this of this movie is they're cramming a lot in there. You know, they got Catwoman, mm. Penguin, Riddler. Uh, so I'm just wondering if they're, you know, stretching it a little bit too thin. I like the dynamic so far that I've seen on screen with, uh, in the short trailer between, uh, Batman and Catwoman. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for it and I have high hopes for it. And, uh, I think it's going to be, it's going to be great. I mean, when's the last, I mean, because Ben Affleck didn't do a standalone Batman film. Nope. So it's been since the last, uh, Christopher Nolan Batman film, which. Dark Knight Rises. Yeah. Which I think out of the, the trilogy, that one was the weakest one in my opinion. Um, with uh, Dark Knight being the best one. It's it's also, I'm curious with, with this version, because the other thing about it that stuck out to me was it, when they did the, sh the close up on his face mask, it almost looked like you could see the stitching for the nose part. Okay. And so one of the things that stuck out to me is like, you sound really weird, but it's almost like the poor man's Batman costume. <laughs> Compared to like all the other Batman costumes that have been so perfectly tailored and, and pristine and wonderfully fitted, this was kind of like, it almost didn't look like it fits This is perfectly. early Batman. I think this is like before he becomes super refined, before he becomes... Ah, okay. Like, so maybe that's why there is that grungy, uh, you know, Bruce Wayne. That, that's why there is, like, you know, he's he's not perfect. He's not polished yet. He, does, he hasn't figured it all out. Yeah. Um. So, you know, the, the cops don't really, like, you know... I mean, cops kind of never really trusted Batman. They kind of go, like, you know, he's a love-hate relationship with them. But, um... Vigilantes. Yeah. Vigilantes are always tough, but yeah, I think that's what, I think that's what they were going for. Um, the other for thing that. I'm really curious about is Andy Serkis as Alfred. Um, I've always been impressed by genuinely everything I've seen Andy Serkis do, but it feels odd seeing him as Alfred. Alfred mm. has always been the warm older older guy, he, old lovable El Uncle Alfred. Like he yeah. had that quality about him. Um, when he was played by Jeremy Irons, there was a mm. It was like a sterner father figure, but there was still that paternal element. I didn't necessarily get that paternal element in the brief clip that we saw between Andy Serkis and Robert Pattinson. So I'm I'm very curious to see what this new interpretation of Alfred will be because well, it's, you know a younger Alfred too, so it's younger Robert Pattinson. I mean, a younger Robert Pattinson, younger uh, Bruce <laughs> Wayne. Yeah, that's true. And uh, if you're into games, we are doing the Batman Arkham series on our other channel, Definitely Not Definitive Games. You should come and check us out. Live streams, Friday nights. We generally start around 9, 9.30 Pacific time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nine-ish. Um, Nine-ish. We're very, we're very big into the ishes. It's like 9-ish, <laughs> 9.30-ish. So you've seen our reaction now for uh, the Batman. I think it's trailer number three now that's come out for this. Yes. The Bat and the Cat. Uh, just keep in mind that our reaction is definitely not definitive.